loves. How are you? Just chilling out here by a field and by a tree. Just a human being, right? A soul in some flesh <laughs> arriving today. Hi, my name is Crystal Ariana and I just wanted to shoot this video regarding the lunar eclipse that we are going through yesterday and today as well as uh, a follow-up to the eclipse portal that we've been in and our adventure into the Lionsgate energy as well as our second new moon this month which is where uh, coming after uh, on the 31st so stepping into our new beginning very much this new moon is going to support our inner child in a lot of ways now which is going to be really refreshing from a lot of the south node north node uh, energies that we have been feeling over this wonderful eclipse portal so i hope that you are taking care love i hope that you are resting I know that I said that I was going to do a video on the last update because it was rather long, um, but I needed some time to merge. There's a lot of retrieving lost parts and, and renewing our souls and forgiveness and coming into our own inner alignment. And so I hope that you've had the space to really, over the last 10 days, take a breather allow all of this in all of the changes that you've been experiencing all of the differences from where you were then and where you are now and just really receiving it all understanding on a core nervous system level what is yours and what isn't yours what is no longer yours to carry what needs to be applied now how do we need to deeper apply this knowledge and we'll, we'll get into that um, but first I have some notes and I want to try to brief through this update as much as possible But yeah, wow loves what what an epic year it's been so far Like my goodness. We are at such a powerful uh, Halfway point of bringing these seeds from January and March into fruition <laughs> It's a little bug little little tiny spider mite like a little red spider oh I love the disruptions from spirit and uh, we just had a lunar eclipse in Capricorn and this is closing out our portal so over the next 10 days is really crucial loves um, as to which path you're going to choose from all of these corridors kind of coming down to two doors you know which is the new new path and venturing out into the unknown or it's taking the path that you've you know you've been on a few times before that merry-go-round and going back through again those lessons um, but I know that you if you're here reading and uh, a lot of these updates lately and watching this video now I know that you are here to apply this wisdom and to step more into mastery and so I want to talk uh, about that let's go back let's rewind back to the still point of the solstice like the last time i did a video um, the light has been increasing since pushing out lower density energies which is why you've been seeing a lot of the fugly stuff coming up you know that we, you know you might be trying to hide below the surface uh, and this energy has been joined by pluto and saturn in capricorn which hasn't been in that alignment in 36 years um, so helping this purge um, uh, the moon being in her home sign. So this is all giving such a cleansing karmic undertone to release a lot of family patterns and a lot of family baggage, which I'll get into more in just a moment. But first, what have we been doing since the solstice? Um, what seeds have you planted? What have you learned? What's been revealed to you that you need to apply deeper? That you've been seeing show up. So it's time to apply the wisdom that you've been shown deeper, staying true to your heart no matter, no matter the disruptions. Oh my goodness, like the last couple days, really this video is gonna come out on Sunday and I was gonna go camping tonight and just trying to flow through all of the, the disruptions and staying true and staying into alignment. So yeah, that's definitely, I wanna to speak to that because that's definitely the energy. 
I mean, I felt such a charge leading up to like five days prior to the lunar eclipse. Um, you know, even through 4th of July and all that energy, I felt serious uh, traveling next to the sun. And I felt a lot of this energy rise coming into the space where we're like being a lot more tested with everything that we've already been shown that's been revealed to us it's our choice whether we're going to repress our feelings not feel what our heart already knows not apply the wisdom uh, from our wounds from our traumas even even the dark ugly stuff right um, so really trust yourself to let go love and that is a huge lesson that I am embracing myself as well to give myself permission to shed who I used to be and who others expected me to be growing up. Um, you're allowed to start over and start over and start over as you are shedding and as you're blooming and, and uh, our consciousness grows in layers, right? It comes through in layers and we're not static creatures. We're multidimensional and we have to allow this process, right? And so going back to the Cancer New Moon, two, me two weeks ago, I feel like so many have come to me, you know, with uh, so much purge stuff. Um, and then discovering that, holy cow, once I sit in this dark, I can recognize my own light and uh, apply this deeper wisdom. And it's been so cool. And I'm like, yes, babe. Yes. This is about mastery, babes. Yes. <laughs> so I hope that you can allow some space for these ahas. And, and that's what I wanna get into more into this update. And I hope that you can, that you can take it all in, that um, you can see what direction that you really wanna go to, uh, you know, go to from here, like what you want to take with you, what you no longer want to keep charging with your energy and, and your emotional body, um, what information you can take in from your body as feedback, what is yours? What no longer is yours? What do you want to take with you? And, and where do you want to go from here? So please make sure to take some space. I know so many of you have come so far and, and I know many of you are also in mission. We're all in different places. And I know many of you are, have been in mission for a long time building these castles. And so this is a very powerful time for you of bringing your dreams into, fru into fruition. And so I absolutely celebrate you. And I, I, I know that it's happening for you um, the more and more that you step into trusting yourself. And that's a big thing that I'm going through right now is trusting myself and finding my own way and and really embodying a lot of the information that's coming through me and um, that's coming up in my heart intuition so yeah integrate all that you've been through observe the world in a new way um, what else is coming up really honoring and respecting yourself really honoring and respecting even the fugly stuff honoring the light honoring the dark it's neither a fortune nor a misfortune I might say that another time in this thing um, but anything that we've, you know, tried to keep hidden during this time, anything that was really super secret or false or distorted is coming to light. So our distortions, our wounds, so wounds that have been unmet, uh, wounds that are unmet inside of us distort our lens. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but I, I, I want you to be able to see the clarity of all your choices from a space of more innocence. Um, so that way you can sit with yourself, sit inside of your own nervous system, see what energies, old energies you've been charging, and see how you can step more into the unknown, into your heart frequency. So that way you can see if you've been choosing stuff from a codependent place. Because all things that are not fully embodied, even relationships, even all relationship dynamics, you know, not just with a, with a lover, uh, are dissolving right now. All ways that are not sustainable are showing up really heavily in the light. So if you say that you're in a love relationship, for example, let's bring it to lovers. If you say you're in a love relationship, for example, um, but you know, you're saying that you love someone from a place of all the things that they um, can give you or their environment can give you or their friends or their events or, or, or whatever in their world can give you, that's not coming from a sustainable embodied place. That's not coming in being love where you love someone else fully for their own benefit because that is unconditional real love 
when I'm embodying my love, I show up in the, my own love, right? And I meet others in that love, right? Where I love them for them, not for the stuff that they can give me. So anyway, a lot of this karmic stuff is coming up right now and it's meant to be cleared. And so if it's dissolving right now, it's only meant to bring you back home and to what your soul has already agreed to step into, into this life. And so a lot of karmic stuff is clearing. Um, in my last video, in my last update, I said something along the lines of uh, the fully charged sun is applying lots, uh, masses and masses of coated light, lots of light in the form of truth. And it's now fully aligned in the north node, which is how we're thriving our karmic destiny, right? Our karmic bloodline, our expansive ability uh, in our DNA. Uh, and basically we're seeing how we need to how we need to clear in order to bring in the new right in order for our north node energies to allow us to expand our karmic destiny right and to know what we need to be aware of so that way we can grow right and um, this is all happening while the while that the sun is, is transiting Capricorn right and op or, or is an opposition to Capricorn so we have a direct opposition to the south nodes, which is really releasing so much karmic lineage stuff. So much karmic completion is coming through for so many people. So much family stuff uprooted that goes back likely generations, even if you're not aware of it. So this is all asking to become up, to come up. It's all bubbling to the surface. So that way we can offer new space. So that way the north node can bring in new worlds for us. So this is all happening at once. This is all happening now. And so I know many just need a hug, just need some space, just need to be held. Like truthfully, just, just need to be with in our being. And uh, it's kind of crazy, this, this, this tossle energy. I know a lot of people are feeling on edge I know many are feeling absolutely tested, like not one more button, you know, things are really chaotic. You know, we can feel tossed about in this on off energy, kind of like we're playing dodgeball and, and we're kind of feeling lost or we've lost our sense of clarity or like we're doubting our intuition or once we th what we once thought we knew a couple months ago or what was so very clear to us is now seeming off. And don't worry, don't worry loves. This is really just, and I said this in a couple other updates, this is really just dualistic thinking that's meeting a higher frequency inside of you. So you're being asked to go deeper, right? And to increase in your self mastery. And so it's all about applying what you know as you continue to purge and let go. And so release, you know, old ways of thinking, understanding what, uh, what karmic contracts are completed and no longer banging on those doors, applying those lessons, and really just embodying your own heart and your own self-care right now. Um, because now is the perfect time. We are getting so much support to get unstuck from old ways, old rules, old concepts right now. Um, and so I know many of you, you watching this message, I'm speaking to you. I know that, I know that you're right on the cusp of a breakthrough and that you're right on this, this shift in consciousness and stepping more into your own unity. And so just stick with it. Just stay with it, love. This is a message that is for you. If you can feel it, then you know it. Okay, so moving on to the full moon. <clears throat> and this is a partial lunar eclipse in Capricorn that you're feeling. And mainly the focus of this eclipse is our balance between, you know, the left and right brain our masculine and feminine energies, our work and our home, right? So new structures and still being at home, lots of disruptions and still staying in our hearts. Um, but yeah, also letting go of old structures and stepping more into, you know, our soul, what our soul is here to do in this lifetime. Woohoo! Um, so it's also going to highlight, like I said, lots of things around love, what's real love, what's sustainable, what's not sustainable. So any type of toxic patterns, abandonment patterns, codependent patterns are going to be super obvious, just kind of like they have been the last two years. Um, 
that I've been doing these updates. I've been talking a lot about this, but this is kind of all coming to a crux for so many, even in my community around me, um, many of the have been in situations that I've read for over the last nine, 10 months or a year or so. Uh, a lot of those situations are breaking through into such liberation right now. Um, and I feel like this lunar eclipse is a little bit more intense due to the Saturn and Pluto being in Capricorn. Um, you know, which is the last time this happened was 36 years ago, you know, so um, Moon being in her home sign of Cancer, she's really asking us to take all of what we have applied or what we have known and to really apply it. And if we've been applying it, to apply it deeper. And, um, and if you're not doing that, then I'm feeling a lot of people are seeing like distortions coming up. Um, and that's okay too, loves, because they are here to help bring us home. Um, but distortions like around how we're taking care of ourselves or not taking care of ourselves, how we're loving ourselves or not loving ourselves, how we're taking care of our own emotions or not taking care of our own emotions. Because a lot of the repressed stuff is coming up um, to, let, to be let go of. Uh, truth is coming out, these distortions. You know, you might notice uh, people in your life, this might come out as others, you know, in your life uh, right now. Uh, to where, you know, the, you might see who the manipulators are and who the liars are and to who the people are putting you on or who, who you know, who's what with their true colors and etc. You know, this also could be the energy of like whatever, whatever awakening, whatever aha, whatever major even bomb needs to go off in your life to get you to finally notice that change needs to des needs to so deeply happen, right? It needs to happen now. And so this eclipse, I feel, especially before this new moon, the secondary new moon, is to help clear away a lot of this old debris, a lot of this old, old stuff that needs to burn out so that you can be truly free to embrace your new story. So absolutely, I feel like even if you, you know, are at your limit and you feel like your buttons are being pushed, just know that it's all truly happening for you, not against you. Okay, love? It's really super important. Um, so from here, now is about... Ooh, that was such a beautiful bird. Oh my goodness. Oh, I would show you, but he's so, he's so tiny, but he's bright blue. That was cool. Um, <laughs> disruptions! Yay! Spirit! Um, so from here... So coming into alignment, seeing where you want to go from here, um, knowing that a lot has happened, taking it all in, being relaxed, clearing your mind, not getting so wrapped up in how to figure things out with the mind, which was a huge, huge lesson for me <laughs> over the last 48 hours. Um, not getting wrapped up in chasing uh, you know, false constructs or ways that you think you can make it better and really truly coming from the body uh, first and being aware of, you know, repetitious looping. You know, when you find yourself in the same spots, uh, uh, the louder it is, the more it's asking for karmic closure, right? Um, this is where we need to go to the root. We need to voice out our feelers. We need to hold them. We need to see what's repressed behind the demon, behind the inner child, behind the wound, um, because there's also a gift. We're not just meant to get beaten down by life. We're, we're, we're meant to alchemize and see and use all sources of energy. Um, and we really need to focus on releasing the root pain, I feel, between now and the new moon on the 31st, so that way we can clear our slate. Right, we're being treated with a second new moon this month, which is helping us set in new patterns. We've been wanting to call in for a while as we close all old patterns that are holding us back. So this is such a gift, especially with all these retrogrades. They really are a gift. They're helping us. Um, until then, we must release our fears. We must allow ourselves to realize what parts of us are feeling abandoned and step into our own self-worth where we need to nurture and feed ourselves. To, uh, to understand our underlyingly what we need. I feel like so much of this stuff is going to be related to family stuff, like letting go of our need to change by others' expectations uh, or from a place of doubting and overthinking ourselves. That's me for sure. Um, or uh, those that, you know, I've had a lot of people tell me that they, you know, they're worried about doing it wrong. Um, you know, just overall worrying about how others and the world sees us. 
you know, um, even our most intimate stuff. So karmic release, removing baggage from several lifetimes, staying grounded um, in your heart frequency is the simplest way to flow. In fact, being grounded in your feminine energy is the easiest way to flow. So if you find yourself doing it too hard or you're getting in your own way, it's, um, you need to embody your feminine energy more. So just know so much is happening in the universe. So much is collapsing. Oh, you can see that bird. Hopefully that one on there. Oh, you came back, That's so cool. Um, so, so much is happening. Allow a lot, a lot of these programs to come up. Let them rise and let them fall with your awareness. Like this process, you are so needed in the world. If you're feeling alone, if you're feeling kind of out there and just disconnected from your own heart, disconnected from the divine, disconnected from others, just know how much, I'm just feeling that, just know how much, please know how much you are needed. Please know this, Mother Divine needs you to embrace her, even in the state she's in. Mother Divine needs all of us to embrace all of ourselves, every part of ourselves. We need all of our light warriors to step into mission right now. There's so much happening on the planet right now as a greater whole, not even just this year, but even in our generation and what's happening, grounding a lot of these expansive energies into the physical and just what's going to be happening on our planet over the next 50 years. Um, we, we, all, we need to trust what's happening isn't a mistake, that this is all that we are, that even the shittiest shit, that there's deep silver linings and beautiful gold there for willing to turn that dust into gold. It's just how, uh, how long, you know, how long do we have to stay in that? It's, it's just up to us how long we have to take to receive the lesson or the gift. So just know that if you're uprooting, it's okay. It's okay to be digging up stuff. It's okay to be receiving new light. It's okay to have abandonment stuff. You know, I feel like too much in the spiritual community, there's too much, oh, I have got the right answer, or no, that's not what I meant, or, you know, there's so much wanting to receive love, affection, and approval, and there's so much false light, and there's not enough people just being themselves, even with the fugly stuff, and, and I know for some this message goes out for those who are, who maybe grew up in a household, you know, deeply entrained uh, for, for mom and dad's approval. You know, maybe you felt like you had to be the perfect role model or the perfect son or daughter. This message is for you. Uh, you maybe you felt a lot of shame, a lot of embarrassment. Maybe you felt love being taken away for certain ways that were authentic to your being and then you would experience love being taken. I mean, it's terrible. You know, and just realize that if you have gone through some of these deep abandonments, you are being pushed in this lifetime to break past these programmed ways of thinking and to strengthen your connection to the divine and that's why this is happening. You can transcend these unhealthy family patterns. Um, that's why you're here. Um, and, and, I, and I know that you realize that they're blocking your ability. They're, you know, you're, you're learning that they're keeping you stuck in duality. Um, and so, and you're seeing the difference between what is coming from the heart and what is coming from the wound. Um, because we, you know, when we don't come from the heart with our wounds and when we don't process them and transmute them, when we ignore, when we ignore our wounds and repress them and we don't churn out the gift from them, we, they distort our perception. We don't see the gift. Uh, we instead are beaten down by the wounds and they are then distorting our reality, creating false constructs, templates that are not even fully who we are. And so I feel like this is why tapping into our inner child, being reminded of this, um, Chiron and Aries I've been speaking to a bit which just went retrograde on the seventh or on the eighth and then Mercury and Leo went retrograde on the seventh um, uh, and it's now heading into cancer and then it'll go direct in Leo again on the 31st I believe but this is also helping us with this energy that I'm speaking to of moving into our core innocence knowing what's lighting our fire getting back to the to the core of what is really what used to inspire us as children.
you know, what really lights us up, what moves us back into who we really are, you know, beyond all of our masks, all of our walls, all of our rigidness, all of our trauma, all of our blocks, you know, and this is how we can see what is false more than ever, what is inorganic versus what is truth and what is organic, what truly vibrates with our nervous system and expands us versus what's not for us and what's no longer for us anymore. Because I feel like you're being asked to reconfigure your life and to dissolve what does not serve you anymore. So there's so much ancestral purging and releasing going on. And this is a time of receiving your own light, love, and believing in yourself, coming into this new moon on the 31st, believing in yourself, love, absolutely. Who you're gonna be feeling these Leo energies, but yes, being unfuckwithable. Woohoo! You saw those um that's the puppies. You saw those uh, videos or those posts that I was making before, maybe on Facebook, I hope so. But yeah, being unfuckwithable, create cultivating a divine love within you that is unfuckwithable, which is like being yourself in such a way that even the wrong people stay away, even the wrong situations stay away. You know, even your mistakes turn out right, right. You know, you're vibrating in such a way where nothing can happen to you that's not for your highest good. You know, even if it sucks. Because you're coming from the whole. You know, even what you think shouldn't be happening is clearing a way for you to step into your highest self. Trusting there's a bigger journey, a bigger path, a bigger process. So, like, even taking this energy uh, applicably into your day, like, be careful how you spend the first 20 minutes of your day. You know, stepping into the first 20 minutes of your morning. You know, how do you spend your day? You know, just knowing that even like how you play, how you feel regenerated, reju rejuvenated, rested, alive, juicy. If you're not embodying your feminine energy, it's likely always harder than it's supposed to be. It's a part of raising your vibration. Um, and if it's harder, it's because, you know, you're coming from a lower vibration and you're thinking about it too much. Doubt only exists in the mental body, only exists in thought. When you're directly connected to source, you just exist. You just are. You be. There's no separation. There's, no, there's, no, there's nothing else. There just is all and nothing at the same time. Now, does that mean that it's good or bad or that it's higher or lower or that it's less than the other? Absolutely not. You know, when we're stuck in a lower vibration, it doesn't mean that we're any less than. It just means that, hey, we're in duality and we can choose heart frequency if we want. We can come home to heart frequency at any time. So even if the lower is happening, you know, see it, clear the way. Take care of your body, walk in the grass, breathe. And use it like a mirror, facilitate it like the mirror. I feel like the last eclipse for us, uh, the Cancer New Moon, was so powerful to sit in the dark, even the last couple of weeks, uh, and really see what rules, you know, traditions are no longer serving us. You know, holding our inner child, holding those really freak out moments and those needs, you know, especially before we come into this Leo New Moon, is it going to be very important. You know, sit with those demons, drink tea with them. Watch my video on uh, raising vibration is not about solving a, a problem, it's about nurturing play. I'll repost it for you guys. Um, but really sitting down with your demons, drinking tea, not separating against hard or tough experiences. You know, even retrogrades, not looking at them negatively, knowing that they're really resets and refreshes for the soul. They're reliefs for your soul from a bigger perspective. Not from an ego-based perspective, from, but from the soul's perspective, it's like, back up, let's see the bigger picture. Retrogrades are really here to help us um, understand our stuff so we can own our own shit, so we can sit with our fears and honor and respect and stop separating the higher and the lower and making one less than the other, but really allowing in a space, intelligent space, um, to see what our fears uh, and demons and inner child and un you know unacknowledged processes in, a, in us, unmet needs in us are connected to. You know, what needs in us must we nourish and fulfill from a higher frequency? You know, the, you know, it all comes down to mothering and fathering so we can come from our inner creator, so we can come from a place of transmutation and come from a place of transcendence, which is the whole point. 
to not always be in duality, but to come from our own whole. Our ability to take the past and transmute it and, and arrive from a neutral place, even when we're in a rough spot, to hold a thought without making meaning out of it. It's, it's all the same thing. So I feel like you know, we really have to stop belittling one or the other or, or warring against what's wounded or the spiritual community against the word narcissistic or, you know, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. Men, women, just all the warring, our own masculine, feminine, right and left brain, where we want to be, where we are now. You know, it's all the same thing. You know, really trusting our whole journey and process, the high, the low, meeting in the middle. Because I feel like we can experience the need to change. We can, ex we can experience the need to neutralize something, right? To manage it, to even control it, right? To transmute it into something else. Uh, and we can still relax as awareness in that moment and slow down and see that thought for what it is and see what's connected to it at our root, what's really in our core fire, right? What does our heart really want? Stop separating from what's toxic and wounded. You know, light and dark live in the same temple. And if the dark is too heavy, it's because you've been trying too long to carry it instead of applying the wisdom. You're not meant to carry the weight, you're meant to learn from it and release it. So everything is happening for you and through you, love. It's always leading you to where you want to be. Every detour, every redirection, it has its own opening, it has its own gift. So just know even the things you think aren't working out. My goodness, life is so subtle, like I posted earlier in the week. Sometimes you just don't even know when you're walking through the doors that you once prayed would open. And so, so stay open, be open. It's neither a fortune nor, nor a misfortune. So even, you know, even when you don't know you're cultivating from the whole, even when you don't know that your detours are, are a gift or that your wounds are a gift, realize that you are always whole. You are always already whole. You are always already worthy. You're always blooming. You know, uh, this comes from holding opposites in the same place. This is how you hold your truth, your unfuckwithableness despite what is happening outside you. This is how you follow your own compass and stay in your own lane. You choose to stop settling and you rise up. You choose to raise your own vibration first. You come from an energy first perspective. And even when there's a lot of old dualistic programs some, coming up, you know, you, you see things for what it is and you raise your vibration and you see things from a different perspective. You know, and this is where you start thinking, you know, walking, talking, living like life is happening for you, not against you. So if you're really feeling stuck right now, just really please take that in. You know, if you're struggling with family patterns, you know, just know that you can focus on raising your vibration first. I'm feeling the Hoponopo prayer. Hope I said that right. Hoponopo prayer. Um, look it up. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And, um, and we'll, we'll go into that later in the future, but that's such a beautiful uh, way to soul retrieve and to step into anyone with understand into deeper understanding in the moment. So to take care of ourselves and others, working at the core of what do we really need? What does our inner child really need? What does others really need? What's behind the wound? Can we stop separating against our anger? Can we stop separating against our wounds? Can we stop separating against what's toxic? From, you know, can we stop separating against ourselves when we're in a lower vibration? You know, can we stop separating from what's ugly? And the things that we don't want or the things that we don't want to feel, you know, this goes for, you know, things separating us, distorting our lens of seeing, uh, even distorting our own sovereignty, you know, even our own anger and our own hatred coming into the light, you know, why can't we hold hands with our demons, our inner child, you know, if we're in duality, why can't we courageously come from our hearts, 
you know, because well, well, we have to we have to satiate the ego, you know, well, all truths are half truths anyway, even what I'm telling you now, you know, it's all coming from duality until it's experienced inside of you. We all have our own core free will, right? It's up to us whether we align it with divine will. Um, and so like, we have to choose our own sovereignty. We have to choose our own core place of our own innocence and our ability to not be distorted by our wounds and to use them as gifts and to apply its wisdom and to nurture ourselves in all the ways that we may not have been received before. And so to really let our, all of our defenses come down is really gonna help you right now. Wherever there's wounds and walls, really letting in light, letting in God, when we resist our wounds, you know, when we tell them like, no, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to let it in. I'm not going to go into those wounds. I'm not going to go into that, you know, underneath the, into the basement and underneath the floorboards and into the dirt. I'm not going to dig up those ghosts. You know, it's, it's, it's essentially really saying that I'm not going to connect. I'm not going to let source in. I'm not going to let God in. You know, I'm not going to go into that little boy or the little, little girl and take care of her, or take care of him. I'm not going to retrieve those wounds or those lost parts. You know, you're basically saying, I'm not going to put love in those places. No, fuck that. You know, and, and, and that's where we stay in duality is when we continue to resist. It's that resistance, that continuation, that perpetuation of the split that, that causes our deepest suffering. You know, where we're, where we're warring instead of creating. This is where we get to see where we're coming from the whole and what's coming from duality. Where we get to see what's organic and what's not organic, what's false constructs and what's truly our authenticity, our authentic heart. So I feel like the light from these eclipses have been, have been increasing and it's gonna be seeing how we bring our dreams into fruition over the 8-8, over the Lionsgate energy into August 8th. And so, so be, be gentle, please be gentle with you as a lot of these wounds are coming into the light. Be gentle with these wounds that just don't know any better. You know, um, imagine these wounds of, as having very limited access to, to the light spectrum, right? They see from a very blurry and very dim place. If you've been watching my other videos, that will make sense. Because what is really resistance? Right? When the wounds just don't know any better, our inner children just have never been held in these ways. Um, it's, just, it's just energy that has not ever been purged and it's been collected. And so all of this energy just simply needs to be felt. We got to see it to free it. We got to feel it to heal it. We got to stop making one experience higher or lower than the other. You know, if you've got a bunch of anger, we need to bring it out into the dark or bring it out of the dark, rather. <laughs> bring it out of the dark into the light. So understanding that these wounds were just the deepest, darkest parts of us that were never seen. Like the worst parts of us are just the things that were most unseen. And when we're willing to look at it from that compassionate lens, it's almost like looking at it through the lens of a five-year-old. How a little girl, a little boy would see it with their innocent heart. And that's, that's what I'm saying here. Because until we really see with the eyes of a child, we don't really see that we have a choice when we really do the entire time. And so please listen to your body. Listen to what she needs. You know, if you're working on self-love without healing your shadow, without working with your inner child, you're just bypassing. You know, because self-love is integration of the shadow. It's embodying the whole from the core of your own heart, of your own truth, of your own authenticity. All the parts that want to be acknowledged, that were unacknowledged, that were unseen, that want to be seen, the most darkest things, they just want to step out into the light or they're going to get deeper and darker and more repressed because that's the process. So know that you can forgive. Yeah, that's why this is all happening. You can bring acceptance to all the pieces. You can embrace all of who you are and stop masking it. Because when you bring your fears to the light, when you start voicing it, when you bring, even voicing out the distortions, voicing out our distorted ways of seeing, 
It really immensely helps us look at things from a much bigger perspective. You know, hold your inner child. Hold the one that's wounded, that feels toxic, that with deep within your skin is weeping. Sit with her, sit with him, rub him, hold him, love her, sing to her. Because this is how we love. This is how we heal. This is how we receive the new and we expand. So voice it out if you need to. Notice and sit and acknowledge and listen and be with. Respect what happened. Honor the high, honor the low. It's neither a fortune nor a misfortune. And the more we stop labeling it, the less we stop perpetuating the suffering and all of our humanity as a whole. So let's hold this thing, guys, like a baby and nurture all of our parts and what we need behind them. We have to stop separating. So alignment is where we focus more on non-duality. And I feel the more we step into raising our vibration versus focusing on the parts that we want to shift, the more that alignment, you know, brings in new, new capacity, n new options, new possibility, new action, new connections. So if you've been in the flow lately, for those that are, that are in those high frequencies, you know, uh, you're really seeing that. You're really seeing how you could flow through some of these really crazy wild energies. Um, e you know, even if you have a lot of disruptions and time delays, um, if you're doing your self-care, you know, even if that means saying no, you know, stepping into these, um, these shifts from a higher frequency, you know, allows you to come from more of your own inner creation, your own inner sovereignty, your own flow. So, so thank you to those who are just simply allowing yourself to be more of who you are. Um, and thank you also to those who are feeling freaking crazy and chaotic and lost too, because you are also helping the greater whole. Um, as there are probably many around you who, as you step into higher or, or more whole connected frequencies, they will too. And so it's all, we're all walking each other home. We're all helping each other. So it's all a beautiful process. So even if life isn't working out right now, you feel rejected or, or puzzled, please just check in, go within, go deeper. You will see from a heart frequency that a greater version of you is just looking to come out you're being simply being invited to up level. So I know that a lot of people are feeling tired and um, you know, you really need to go within and rest and rejuvenate. You know, if this message is for you right here, don't give up, okay? Don't give up. Like you are right there, just need to raise your vibration and you'll find yourself in a brand new place. Okay, and you'll be able to see the old with new lenses if things haven't come together already for you. Okay, just know that some periods of growth are so confusing that sometimes we don't even realize that the growth is actually already happening. Okay, so it's when our heart is really cracked open that we're growing the most and sometimes that can be kind of painful and so we don't recognize it. So please nurture yourself during this time, love. Okay, so even when you don't know what's happening, you know, even when you feel like something inside you has been waiting for so long and it's coming to the surface, listen to your body. Listen, listen to what your body needs. You know, healing is not escaping pain. Healing is our ability and our capacity to hold pain and to transmute it into creation. So it's the same as spirituality. Spirituality is love and acceptance of where we are just as we are. You know, and, and the possibility of still making a choice from here. It's not about escaping what we are or trying to like accomplish something so we can get to the next thing. So with that, I wanna end the uh, energy update. I know that it's um, coming up on 4444. And uh, that was a little bit longer of a video than I wanted, but I just, I appreciate you guys so much and I love you and I kinda wanna end it here. And um, I got this quote that really touched my heart the other day because just know that if you're feeling down some days as some of this lower purgy stuff is, is being released and coming up to the surface, just I want you to know how much you are needed and how much you are loved, okay? The high, the low, it's all here to bring you home. And uh, I'm gonna read this quote to you, okay? It says, 
You are beloved of the universe. You have intentionally incarnated into this time and space to assist with the evolution of consciousness. You carry within your soul the wisdom of the ages. Please trust it. Shine on, dear one. You are precious. You are loved. You are supported. And it's such a sweet message and such a simple message, but it came to me in such a potent time when I needed to see it. And it's just sometimes little messages like this that can make the biggest difference in, in our overall pivot, that overall pivoting, pivoting moment. And um, so just really embrace, as I guess that's what I'm saying, allow the space, you guys, to take all of this really in. Because sometimes it's just one aha that can completely shift everything and allow you to really step into your greater gifts. So I love you. I appreciate you so much. We have watched the sun go down together in this video and I'm gonna sign off. Love you guys. Talk soon, bye.